There is certain trepidation every time a remake of a cult classic movie is made, and this is no different with Doug Lyman's new action flick, Roadhouse. It's been billed as a reimagining of the 1989 thriller starring Patrick Swayze as Dalton, the bouncer who turns up at the Double Deuce Bar to clean up all the fights and general trouble at the establishment. In this new version, Dalton is reimagined as an ex-UFC fighter, now played by Jake Gyllenhaal, who is tasked with sorting out trouble at a roadhouse in the Florida Keys. The setup is good, and Gyllenhaal has the acting chops to make Dalton believable, as well as physically being in top shape for the role. The remake follows most of the beats of the original, with a brand new spin on the story for modern-day audiences. There are some juicy bar fights and a standoff with a biker gang, led by Mayans MC alumnus J.D. Pardo as Dell. Billy Magnuson plays the big bad villain Brant, who is trying to take over the popular local watering hole. But he lacks the physicality to stand off against the Rip Gyllenhaal. This is where a certain ex-UFC fighter comes into the frame near the hour mark and threatens to derail the whole movie. Conor McGregor was reportedly paid a whopping fee to portray Knox in Roadhouse, and based on his lack of acting abilities, it's definitely McGregor who got the better deal. When he turns up to cause havoc for Dalton, he delivers one-liners so bad, it risks ruining what has been built up over the previous hour. His performance is cringeworthy, but luckily, his fighting skills are much better than his acting talent, and his tussles with Gyllenhaal just about justify his involvement with the movie. Roadhouse is great fun, but it shouldn't be taken seriously in any way. If you can suspend your disbelief for two hours, you are in for one hell of a ride.